Hi, Mrs. Green. Hi, baby Caroline. This is Kim. She's going to be your nurse Hi, tonight. You can call me Natalie. Thank you. And Michael will be the LNA. Okay. your bracelets. All right. Are you ready, Tracy? Yes. Okay. I have Carolyn R. Green, date of birth 12-28-2014, A number 9999-0048. I have two ID bands. I have a Massimo, and I have an infant security monitor that is intact. Thank you. Natalie, we're going to do nurse knowledge exchange at the bedside, and um, we're going to go review the events of the day, Caroline's plan of care, and the goals for tonight. Okay. Um, and we encourage you to participate, so if you have any questions or any detail you'd like to add, feel free. Okay. Alrighty. So Caroline has been a healthy babe. She was seen in the clinic today due to uh, vomiting. It's been persistent vomiting and she was subsequently admitted with a diagnosis of pyloric stenosis and had a pyloromyotomy performed. And her admission weight is 10 kilos. She's a full code and no known drug allergies. I've released all her pending orders, as you can see. Yes, I see those there, thank you. You're welcome. So Caroline's last set of vital signs. Uh, her heart rate was 160, respiratory rate was 40, and her BP was 80 over 60. She received Tylenol, 150 milligrams per rectum interoperatively, and then she received morphine, 0.5 milligrams IV at 1530, and she's had good relief with both of those. And what time was the Tylenol given? The Tylenol was given at uh, 1400. Thank you. Caroline's uh, flax scores were zero. Okay. Her pews are green. Uh, she's comfortable at this time and has Tylenol and morphine ordered as needed. Um, Caroline, uh, been, uh, since being on the unit, she's been resting comfortably. She's easy to arouse and she cry, has cried appropriately in interventions. As you can see, she's waking up and is a little playful. Um, Natalie, yeah. do you agree that she's been resting comfortably yeah. today? Yes, she seemed pretty comfortable. Oh, good. So we're just going to go to the bedside. Sure. Oh, I know. Hi. Caroline's breast sounds have been bilaterally clear. And you can see her dressing. Stereo strips clean, dry, and intact. Yeah. And then she has an IV here in her left saphenous. Mm -hmm. And that looks really good. Yep, dressing's clean, dry, and intact. And you can follow the tubing. All right, go ahead. I have D5 half with 20 of K going at 40 mLs an hour. And Natalie, we'll be back every two hours or so to check that IV. But if it starts to leak or gets red or looks uncomfortable to her, just let me know. Okay. Okay? So let me review Caroline's intake and output for the day. So um, interoperatively and in the PACQ, she had 220 mLs IV, and she had a wet diaper of 50 mLs. And intake since admission uh, to the unit, she's had 120 mLs IV and had one wet diaper that was 82 mLs. Okay. Caroline's plan of care is the standardized uh, post-pyloric uh, stenosis repair, and we're to manage her pain and comfort. Um, so, Natalie, I just wanted to review um, Carolyn's diet for tonight. Sure. She's NPO, so nothing by mouth, um, until uh, 20 hundred, which would mean that you could give her Pedialyte at 8 p.m. tonight. And I've left some Pedialyte on the shelf here, and she can have 30 cc's. Okay. If she tolerates that well, then she could uh, go to express breast milk. And uh, usually every two to four hours you could feed. Okay. And I just want to let you know too that if she has any uh, emesis or vomiting, um, that you would just let Kim know. It's okay. not that we change the plan. She'd still be able to eat okay. um, every two to four hours incrementally increasing to 60 cc's, 90 cc's. I want you to know that some children do vomit 
post uh, the pyloric stenosis repair. Okay. Um, and some don't. So okay. it's hard for me to foresee, but we won't, again, change the plan. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Do you have any questions? Is it okay if I pick her up? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Yeah, your smell and your touch is the best thing for her, and it really will help her heal so much better. Okay. You can go ahead and pick her up. Um, just remember when you start to get tired that she goes back in the crib when she's asleep. Um, we do not promote co-sleeping okay. here at Dartmouth. Okay. Oh, is that better? <laughs> All right, we're just going to check the equipment. Okay. Move out of the way. So you have suction, O2 hookup, yank hour, yep. a Pedialyte I've left here with some nipples. Alrighty. Sounds good. So Natalie, it was really nice meeting you. It was you. nice meeting you. You have a great night Thank with you. Kim. Thank and, you very um, much. I'll see you in the morning. I'm okay, here to get sounds good. Alrighty, you take care. All right, Natalie, I'm just going to update the plan for the day on the board. So we're still going to manage her pain. She's going to get 30 mLs of Pedialyte. And then she'll get breast milk every two to three hours. Okay. Okay. Is there anything I can do to make you or Caroline more comfortable right now? I think we're good. We're good. Okay. Right. We round hourly, so I'll be back within the hour. Okay. If you need anything before that, just your pitch or call bell. It's right there. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, Caroline. I'll see you later. Okay.